Okay, folks, it is Saturday night here in Morganton, North Carolina. Actually, we're probably 10 miles out of town west of Morganton in the Lake James community. Uh, our review tonight is a place that we have been excited about for a while now, for several months. Uh, this place's Facebook posts have been coming up on our feed, and the food, they have steaks, prime rib, ribs, um, a lot of other things, and their food looks absolutely amazing, does mm -hmm. it not? It does. Uh, the smell out here is indescribable. So there's a little bit of a, a backstory to us coming here. We've been talking about this place for months and just have not been able to get up here. So the other day, a friend of mine from way out in California, Lancaster, California, he tagged me on their Facebook post, on this place's Facebook post, and said, have y'all tried this yet? Have you done a review there? And I, I told him, I said, it's funny you would ask that. We've actually been talking about that very place and then it hit me, why does he even know about this place out in California? So I said, Ben, how did you hear about it? And he said it had been popping up on his Facebook. So this is getting to be a very popular place. We've already walked up tonight, seen a car from Minnesota here. And I'm sure there's a lot of other out of state places. But tonight's the night, we are here. We just got put, are we standing behind the, yeah. okay. Let's move over here just a little bit. <clears throat> we just got put on the waiting list. We got here at five. That's when the prime rib starts being served and we're told it's gonna to be about an hour and a half. So we're gonna wait. We've driven about 28 miles to get here. So we're gonna wait and uh, hopefully this place is gonna be as good as it smells, as good as it looks. And judging by the cars, I think we're gonna have a good meal tonight. It's a full parking lot. Yeah, so stay with us and we'll let you know how it goes. And by the way, the name of the place, I think that's the first time I've ever forgotten to give the name in the <laughs> intro. <Nice. laughs> the name of the place is Bone Jones Burgers and Butchery and their slogan is friend of the farmer so what we're going to do since we've got well over an hour to wait we're going to walk around and show you uh the building the outside grounds here as well as how many people are here this is a popular place to be not in town anywhere and let me say this because it says friend of the farmer they get a lot of their meat and stuff locally there's mm -hmm. like a, a, a ranch or something that they get it from a even dairy. the cheese curds are made from a dairy say, farm there's locally. a dairy farm locally that they get that and i'm sure they get a lot of their produce in the summertime from local farmers exactly so it's located off highway 126 right across from the lake james fire department so let me walk around here and I'm going to show you the front of the building. These are people waiting outside. Fortunately, it's a pretty mild evening. A little cool, but not bad. So, this is the front of the building here. And I'm going to show you the cars that are here. This is, this is only a small sample. So, let's walk on over here for just a minute. So, right here is an outdoor dining area here. It's actually starting to get mild enough to where you can think about doing that. But, um... Then it looks like down here behind the place, I did not realize this, they have tennis courts. So there's the wood for the smoking. So obviously they do smoke with wood here. And down behind here, there are tennis courts. And looks like a place up there you can sit and look down over the tennis courts. And here's the outside area. Now here's the parking lot. Let me try to get a little... That's how far down the cars go. You can't even see ours. We're parked down way past that dumpster, about where that car's pulling out. That's where we're parked at. So let me just kind of give you an idea how full this place is to be way out here, not even in town. Our first time, we've been excited about it, and apparently a lot of other people know that it's good. So um, I'm already giving it a good review for we've eaten here. I hope nothing <laughs> changes, but if it, if it does, I'll let you know. But I'm excited. Uh, this smell out here is really, it's going to be tough to wait for an hour. So there's the Minnesota tag I was telling you about. I don't know how many other out-of-state people are here. They could just be visiting the area anyway, but I doubt they drove all the way down here just to eat here. But still, just to be out here in the country. Uh, I'm trying to see, I do see one more out-of-state over there. So we got a big old smoker here. Now, Shaughnessy has come for the prime rib tonight, and we asked the girl when we put her name in, I said, you will not run out of prime rib between now and then. She says, keep your fingers crossed. That's what she said. Well, they don't start serving it until 5 o'clock, so what I'm That's hoping true. is... That's true, and hopefully know. not everybody will get it. But, right. Um, They've got a lot of delicious stuff. If you look at it on Facebook, and again, this name of this place is Bone Jones Burgers 
look at their Facebook page and you look at their prime rib and you can understand why people would want it. That's amazing. The girl um, that I work with, she come here and she thought we <clears> have a burger and she said it was so good. So we're just going to go back and sit in the car and wait on our text. But she kind of, when I ask her about running out of prime rib, she says, now our ribeye is really good too, which that's probably what I'm going to get. And I said, we drove a long way for prime rib. I hope you still <laughs> don't run out. But Don't make her upset. <laughs> well, it ain't going to be me up. Yeah, it'd be no, you. You say that to yeah. me. Um, but I think next time we come, we probably need to get here maybe an hour early. Yeah, I need to see. I thought, and I should have looked to see if there was a way to put her name on a, a wait list. Yeah, I'm not sure if there was or not. Uh, there's Tennessee. Most of the people here are from in-state, but uh, I've seen Minnesota and Tennessee. So we're going to go back and sit in the Blue Princess for a while till we get the text. All right, so here's inside, and you can just see how many people are here waiting. We have been here an hour. What time did you say they sent the first text? 5.03 at 6.09. So 6.09. We've been waiting an hour and six minutes. And we just got a text to head to the restaurant that we're next in line. So anyway, all right, here we are. Here's the appetizer. We ordered the cheese curds. I'm having to talk very loudly because they got a live performer here. And speakers up really loud. Yeah, here. it's up really loud. So probably the loudest place we've ever been to. Yeah. So try a bite of those and let's we'll see what they're like. So she's getting a quick picture, but um, they been giving marinara and ranch. So I know I would probably prefer the marinara myself, but. And again, these are made from cheese that's locally made, correct? That's very good. Very good. All right. Oh yeah. Very, very, very good. All I can say is good, not what a steak. Look at that, folks. That is supposed to be the 20 ounce ribeye. If that's not. Well, it's got a bone in it. Yeah, it, is, it does have a bone, but that thing is huge. There's my loaded baked potato. That's not extra. My mac and cheese, and look at the thickness of that prime rib yep, right That there. looks amazing. That crust looks delicious. Okay, Shaughnessy is going to take a bite of that. Um, let me try to zoom back out. There we go. That looks amazing. I want to know how it tastes. Almost melts in your mouth. It's so good. That, that is, that 
That is amazing. Let me try a bite of that. Oh goodness. It is, like it melts in your mouth. That is, and that crust is so seasoned, so good. You know the prime rib that reminds me of the smoke? Salt grass. Salt grass, yeah. I'd put that up there with it or even a nudge above it. Yeah, that piece that I had from right here was very tender, so I'll get more at the end, you know, yeah. but, that, but that is amazing. Okay, so this is what's left of that huge, thick prime rib. Um, you'll probably be getting a box to take that home. Um, Maybe I just got my side. Just got your onion rings. And yeah, we had the potato for a while. We'll tell you a little bit more about that. I still haven't had my steak yet. It looks like I'm getting it now. Okay, so Jerry is getting his steak prepared to eat. Ordered it medium. Finally got it medium. So I'll tell you more about that in the closeout. So first bite. Can't tell by the look. Unbelievable. Is Just it good? Like that prime rib was unbelievable. This is. Yeah, he gave me a little bite. I haven't tried it yet, so I have to taste it here in a second. But you got 20 ounce bone in. 20 ounce bone in ribeye. There's the thickness of it. Oh, yeah. I will not be eating all that. I'll be taking some of that home. Wow. But um, I really like a bone-in ribeye when it's available because they're a little bit more flavorful, I think. But. Yeah, it looks amazing. And my onion rings finally came out. She highly recommended those, too. And they're pretty good. Do you want this other piece? No, I don't want it. Okay, so we got our Folks, we just finished up here at Bones Jones Burger. Sit up. All right, folks. It's one of those nights I can barely talk. We just finished <laughs> up here at Bones Jones Burgers and Butchery. Is that it? I think so. All right. Um, here outside of Morganton, North Carolina, kind of in the Lake James community, Highway 126. As I said in the intro, we have wanted to try this place for months, and we've been seeing their Facebook ads. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you now, they don't really need our review, just to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, um, there's still tons yeah. of people out there waiting, and it's if you, 7.30. If you subscribe to them on Facebook, you're going to want to come. There's not yeah. anything we can say to make you want to anymore, but we're still going to give the review. We drove up here for that purpose, so um, it's not like they need it because they're, they're packed. We waited about an hour and 10 minutes probably mm -hmm. to get our table. They said it would be an hour and a half. So it was a little bit under that. But uh, we actually sat out here and did our Bible reading for the day. We had time to do it. So uh, had our Bibles with us. So we did our Bible reading. So that was a good thing there while we were on the wait list. So um, we're going to start. Uh, we actually came here tonight knowing both of us what we were going to get. I didn't know my sides, but I knew the main course mm -hmm. what I was going to get. So um, we're going to... We always try to give a fair and honest review. That's what we're going to do here. Um, even a place that um, we've been wanting to come to for a long time. There were, this is going to be a very contrasting review. And I say that because the couple of negatives we're going to mention were kind of like, one of them really no excuse for. Okay, the other one, it can, it can happen. Um, but then the food is like the other end of the spectrum. So uh, we're going to... I'll say more about that in just a minute. So why don't you start us off tonight, tell what you got and what your impressions of it were. Okay. So it's a nice place. It's very nice. Um, the outside, they have pickleball um, courts out there. Don't know how to play it, but there's people out there getting ready to play it when we come in. Um, <coughs> they've got nice seating area out there. Um, if it was warmer on the one side of the restaurant, they actually have picnic tables outside, I guess, where yeah. you can eat. I will, I will say that I walked out on that outside area where the guy's singing, and it's heated out there. Oh. I was kind of wondering why people were sitting there, because it's not really that warm. Well, I noticed they had the yeah. door up. They have, like, a roll door yeah. up where he's sitting out there. Where them, the it's room nice and there. toasty. They got it heated oh, okay. Good. I was kind of wondering. Yeah. Oh, that's good to know. Um, but it's very nice on the inside. Um, they were very busy. Um, <laughs> their app, when, the, when you sign in, it, it goes to your phone, but you can 
check the wait list. How many people's ahead of you? What the um, wait wait time is approximately? Can I not uh, lay back? <laughs> and how many people are actually on the wait list? <coughs> at one point, there was thirty five people on the wait list. If that just tells you how good they are. Yeah. So um, yeah, I had been following their Facebook. I wanted the prime rib. That did not disappoint at all. That was so good. A um, lot of seasoning. The crust or bark, whatever you want to call it, was very good. I'm probably going to be thirsty because I ate all of the crust. So it's kind of salty. But that meat was almost, almost didn't need enough. It was so tender. It, of all the prime rib that I have eaten. I was going to ask you. Now, let me, oh, hold on. Let me, let me interject some. We've had a lot of prime rib. You get that a lot of places. Yes. So far, we've always said salt grass was the best prime rib because it was smoked. This mm -hmm. was smoked. Our favorite in the Smokies is Cherokee Grill mm -hmm. and then probably Ye Old Steakhouse and Knoxville. Mm -hmm. Those are like the three. So go ahead. I want to know where you put this. This one. is number one. I, I told him, I said, I don't think I've ever had one so tender and it was so flavorful. It was, it was well worth it. Mm -hmm. Now, you don't choose your <clears throat> size of it as far as how much of it. She said it's anywhere from 14 to 16 ounces. Because every bit of 16 ounces. Yeah, it was very thick. Very yeah. good. Um, he helped me eat some of it. Um, Which is why I'm hurting right now. <laughs> very good. <clears throat> um, so, as far as you get two sides... Um, I originally got a baked potato loaded, which is cheese and bacon, then butter and sour cream on the side, and a salad. But when she was talking to him about the side, she says, I really recommend the onion rings. Well, he don't eat onion rings. I thought, oh, well, if she says they're really good, maybe I'll get that. So instead of a salad, I got the onion rings. I wish I had just gotten the salad. Um, the onion rings, I think there was a little mix-up in the kitchen because they came out last. They, they were, uh, yeah, after your prime rib. After, my prime rib was first. I had no baked potato, no um, onion rings. I can tell she looked a little frustrated with the kitchen. So, and they're busy. So they're but, extremely busy. I'm not complaining about that at all. I get it. That happens. I just didn't really care for the onion rings. They just n didn't wow me. The baked potato, had I have had butter or sour cream to have eaten with it while it was still warm would have been good i had to wait till my baked potato was cold before they brought yeah, me any that's, sour what, that's cream. one of the things i was gonna mention yeah um but they're busy uh it's so like i said i'm no slap against them whatsoever um would i come back yes i would definitely come back um yeah i had a good experience i really did okay i did so you do put this as your best prime rib ever anywhere. yeah yeah. That's saying a lot because you mm. fell in love with that salt grass. I, I That's had when to, I think I had my very first one. And they're in Arlington, Texas. Yeah. And I had to console you when I told you they'd taken <laughs> it off the menu. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. But we don't need salt grass now because we got this right Close here. This is about 40 minutes from our house. Um, and it's local beef. So And you know yeah. you're helping farmers. That's that's great. All right. So, I got the ribeye steak. Now, the, I want to go ahead and get the negatives out of the way because the positives far outweigh the negatives. But I am going to mention the negatives just, again, that's what we do. We, we do fair reviews, okay? Um, as far as my experience goes, I ordered my steak medium. The girl told me, she says, your steak is going to be so thick. I got the bone and ribeye. She goes, we recommend only medium rare, or I'm sorry, rare, medium rare, or medium. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, I, I like mine medium, in which obviously you know what that means. That means a little bit of pink in it. Um, so when I got it, I was ordering my sides, and she asked me if I wanted the potato loaded. So I asked her if that was extra. She said, no, it's not. She says, you, your sides are your sides, whatever you get. So I like that. Uh, and she said uh, that, that loaded comes with bacon and cheese and then butter and sour cream. So I asked her then. I said, can I just get extra butter because I don't, I don't eat sour cream. And she said, yeah, it'll be on the side. Well, when the potato was brought out, mine, there was no butter or sour cream on the mm -hmm. side. None. Zero. So I asked her... <clears throat> that point for butter and when she was going for that i cut into my steak my steak was rare i mean red on the inside now y'all know me you've seen this happen to me before sometimes if you order it medium it might be a little undercooked a little on the medium rare side i always keep it when it's like that i don't make a deal over it i can eat it that way this was beyond what i could eat um it was very red on the inside when i first showed you and said what a steak i hadn't cut it yet very red on the inside. So I did point that out to her. I said, I got to have that cooked a little more. They did take it back uh, to the kitchen. I hate to send anything back. And I don't think I've had to do that. Probably since Howard's, you had to. I had way. to because my I don't think we've rare. ever had to do that otherwise. Yeah. But yeah, uh, this was very rare. So um, 
it when I when she was gone after I cut into her, I keep waiting for her to come back with the butter so I can tell her she she was gone a while. She's probably gone ten minutes. And I think she was probably <clears> with <throat> my onion rings because when she come back, I can tell she was frustrated yeah. with the kitchen. I'm just saying what happened. Yeah. I'm, I'm not trying to speculate why. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm just saying what happened. I needed her to come back. So while you're basically you're eating, you got half your prime rib eat by now. And no sides yet. No sides yet. And I, I haven't even touched my meat, so I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and eat my sides. I'm going to go ahead and eat my macaroni and cheese while it's still warm. So I did that. Macaroni and cheese was good. Um, I'd probably try something different next time, but it was good. No complaints. The baked potato, it took so long to get back with the butter, the baked potato would not even hardly melt the butter by the time we got the butter. Mm -hmm. And the butter is in the, you've heard me say, I hate those little foil packs of butter. They, you have to have too many of them to get your potato buttered. They take so long. They're messy. I wish they could just bring you out some soft whipped butter in a cup. I, I don't, I wish every restaurant would do that. By the time I did get the butter and told her about the steak, she took the steak, the baked potato was really not not warm at all. So, didn't care for that, to be honest with you. When I got my steak back, she asked me to cut it open, and um, or the, actually the woman that brought it out asked me. I cut it open, it looked fine, it looked perfect. So I said, that, that's good, thank you. When I took a bite of that steak, um, it was literally uh, the phrase melt in your mouth. So, the steak literally melted in your mouth. Um, and I, that's why we came tonight, was for the steak and the prime rib. You would put the prime rib at the top. Mm -hmm. This steak, I've got my list of steaks, too, that I think are up there. Num my number one was the um, Cattleman in, in Fabens, Texas, which is about a half hour out of El Paso. We saw that on a food network. Flew into El Paso just to eat there before our West Coast trip, didn't we? That's how, mm -hmm. how much we were wanting to go there. That was previously probably the best steak I've ever had, followed closely by the Chop House in Pigeon Forge, or Severable, uh, Cherokee Grill, and the Trailhead in Towns. And those would be my tops. You got to put this one in that conversation. You, I got to put it up there with the Cattleman. I think it's above the other three. I would have to put that up there with the Cattleman just outside of El Paso, Texas, as the best steak I've ever put in my mouth. And I think a lot of times that has to do <clears throat> with getting your beef from local farmers. Yeah. You know, the Cattlemen did, didn't they? I think they did, yeah. yeah and, and I think they did here. here. They're, listen, if, like I say, they don't need our review. If you just look at their pa Facebook page, Bones, Jones, Burgers, and Butchery, I think it's called. Just look at the pictures of the prime rib. You don't need me to tell you to come here. Yeah. Um, I would say if you're in the Morganton area, even if you're just passing through, allow yourself an extra hour and a half or two hours. Detour the 20 minutes off of I-40. Come here. And you can thank me later. Yeah, it's good. Okay. I do wish things had been a little bit more organized with the sides. But for the quality of the meat we got, we can let that slide. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, and everybody, once we got yeah. our food, I mean, everybody, as they walk by, everything good? You guys yeah. need anything else? They were very attentive. Our drinks never ran out. Right. They were very attentive. Yes. And um, they uh, came, came by several times. Actually, several different people came by our table and asked us mm -hmm. how things were. Um and actually, they did give us a piece of cheesecake to go. Uh, we haven't tried it yet. No. We got a box. I don't ever get a box. I, I'll just make myself <laughs> eat my steak. I got a box. I'm having that steak <laughs> tomorrow for lunch, too, the rest of it. I ate all my prime rib, but I, I only ate a couple of the onion ribs. Well, rib. I ate some of your prime rib. Well, well yeah, but I mean, for yeah. my portion, I ate all of And that. my steak came with uh, like four mushrooms on the side. Yeah. That I was not expecting. Garnish like. And they, didn't order, but yeah, you can listen, you can mushroom me all day. I don't care. <laughs> I, I'll eat mushrooms any way, shape, or form. So I was very glad to have gotten those. Mm -hmm. In fact, I wish they offered that as a side. I'd order that as my side mm. next time. But let me just summarize it this way. I know this is long. Go to their Facebook page, look at their prime rib and their ribeye, and when your mouth is done watering, I'll just go ahead and tell you it's even better than it looks. You ought to take like a screenshot of what they placed <clears> on there and add I, to the slideshow. I can do that. That'd I can do that. Uh, I mean, we got pictures of our own. And it really looks about the same. It but, does, but yeah, when you look at that, it's like, oh. Wow. And I think they're also known for their beef ribs. I, I saw a guy with one; it was huge. Now I don't know if they do brisket here. I actually didn't even. I'm not reading the menu when I'm recording it, so I don't know. And I wasn't looking for that uh, to be honest with you. I don't know. But did, did they it'll be even, on the menu, huh? Did they even have regular barbecue? I didn't even notice. I, I didn't read the menu yet. I um, know. So. I know they've got burgers, tons of burgers. I will put a, a few pictures from their Facebook of why we even wanted to come here, mm -hmm. why I got tagged from a friend in California, why we got a friend in Winston-Salem, Tony, that uh, has been wanting us to come here. We got a text from him after he saw that you had checked us in. It says, I told Ginger that y'all would be coming here tonight. <laughs> uh, yeah, we are. 
we'll be back and i don't think it's gonna be too long no it's, it's very good so did you get their hours so they're hours they're open sunday from 11 to 8 i believe closed on monday tuesday wednesday thursday 11 to 8 i believe and then friday and saturday 11 to 10 i believe yeah. so friday and saturday they're open till 10 or later Okay. So, uh, Mondays are closed. Yeah, I don't know that I did get their hours, yeah. so thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, seriously, if you're going to be anywhere near Morganton, just get off I-40, take the 20-minute drive up here. It's not really that bad of a drive. It's not, and you're out here in the country. It's just that the food, the, the quality of that meat is is unmatched in this area. Mm -hmm. Unmatched. So uh, that's really all I got, I guess. But I, uh, Did you get our server's name? I don't remember what her name I was. I did not. And you you had the receipt, so I don't, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, she was that. very good. So if she watches this, thank you for taking care of it. She did a good job. And yeah, Absolutely. looking forward to trying that cheesecake later. All right. It was chocolate chip cookie. I think that's what she said. I think there was yeah. a cookie on top of it. So yeah. all their cheesecake looked good. Yeah. All right. Well, if you like this video, like and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up and find and follow us on Facebook. All right. Have a blessed evening.